are you? I hope you're all exceptionally well. As you may or may not have seen, a couple of weeks ago, actually, I think it was just last week, I uploaded a video called Hooded Eyes Do's and Don'ts, or something along those lines. And basically, in that video, I said that it's not the most flattering look for hooded eyes to wear winged liner. And I still stand by that, like, that is my opinion, basically. But a lot of you were a little bit sad about that and I noticed a lot of the comments were saying, mm, I really like winged liner, now I understand why it doesn't look good on me, blah, 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 blah. So I've been mucking about for the last few days trying to find a way to make winged liner work on virtually every kind of hooded eye, no matter how severely hooded your eyes are or how only slightly hooded your eyes are. So keep on watching and I'll show you the little trick that I figured out to get winged liner to look good on hooded eyes. So first things first, what you need to do, and this will go for any kind of hooded eye, no matter how severely hooded your eyes are or how only slightly hooded your eyes are, you're going to need to apply some kind of neutral matte shade into the crease of your eyes to make that hood appear pushed back and to make it appear a little bit more receded than what it actually is and in turn make your eyes look a little bit less hooded. So I am using this colour here, this is Wheat from Bobbi Brown. I'm using my favourite Bedellium Tools brush, this is the Duo Fibre Blending Brush, the 787. And I'm going to be applying this colour all through the crease of my eye. So bring it up onto the hood so that when you open your eyes in the mirror and you look at yourself front on, you can actually see where you've put this shadow and it makes that hood appear receded. Stop and take a look yourself front on and keep gradually bringing it up further and further and further until you can see that it's kind of made a difference to the hood of the eye and that it's made it look a little bit less puffy. This part here is completely besides the point, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it looks good. So I'm taking that same wheat color on this Real Techniques brush. This is the base shadow brush. And basically I'm just going to balance the top lid with the bottom lid. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that same color underneath my lower lash line. This part is also completely besides the point, but I think it looks nice, so I'm going to apply a highlight to the inner corners of my eyes and underneath the arch of the brow bone. As always, I'm using this colour here. This is Flawless Figure from MAC, but you can use any highlight that you have. It's all going to work the same, pretty much. Do not apply this on your hood, by the way. Alright, so I've been trying really, really hard to think of a way for hooded eyed people to wear a winged liner and it still look good. This is a severe conundrum, might I add. It has taken me a little while to figure out how to do this, even though to you right now it probably seems so simple, but bear with me, this is what I figured out. So take a pencil liner first and apply it to the inner rim of your top lash line. You can apply it to the lower lash line as well if you want to, just depending on what look you're going for. I'm going to, but remember, that's not a necessity, so only if you want to. Basically, you're gonna start from the inner corner of your eye and bring it all the way out to the outer corner of your eye on the top lash line, but the water line, and then I'll show you where we're gonna apply the liquid liner. All right, just like that, just on the waterline on the top lash line. And then for this look, I'm also gonna apply it to the bottom waterline, but you don't have to. All right, now, getting onto the hard stuff. This is the liquid liner that I like. This is the Ecriture de Chanel <laughs> Stylo Eyeliner Eyeliner Pen. It's literally like a texture and there's no twisting business, no nothing, no mess. You literally just draw it on like it's a pen. So that is why I love it. So what we're gonna do, because we've already got the pencil liner on the waterline of the eyes, we're not gonna apply the liquid liner anywhere near the inner corners of the eyes. We're literally gonna start from the outer third of the eye and just draw a flick. So basically the only place that we're actually going to apply liquid liner is on the very outer corner of the eye to create the actual wing. And that way you're not applying liquid liner on top of the lash line like you generally would when doing a winged liner on a non-hooded eye. Because if you do that on a hooded eye, it's going to use up all the mobile lid space that you have and your eyes are going to look even more hooded. If you want to see an example of that, I'll put a link to my hooded eyes do's and don'ts in the description box down below for you. So I'm just starting at the outer corner of my eye here and I'm gently feathering this liquid liner through the lash line just to thicken them up a little bit and then I'm just going to create the wing. 
So hopefully it makes sense now. By putting the pencil liner on the waterline, that's going to appear as though it's part of your liquid winged liner, when in actual fact it's not. So as you've probably noticed with hooded eyes, when you apply a traditional winged liner above the lash line and then wing it out, it's all well and good. Then you look at yourself in the mirror and it's gone because your hood has basically covered the winged liner and all you see is this silly little flick at the end. Leave me a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. So by applying the pencil liner on the waterline, you're not going to have that happen because you can always pretty much see the waterline no matter how hooded your eyes are usually and then you've just got the wing at the very end of the eye so I hope that made sense it was ridiculously difficult to explain that so that is the winged liner finished if you want to now you can go in and apply some mascara or false lashes I think false lashes look really flattering on a hooded eye with winged liner and just hooded eyes in general so that is the finished tutorial I hope that that made sense to you the makeup that I'm wearing right now by the way I've also done a tutorial on that so I'll also have that linked in the description box down below for you in case you want to know how to do this whole makeup look and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up uh, please leave me any comments for any future videos that you want to see or any other questions that you might have in regards to this video. Otherwise, I love you all so much, as you already know, and I will see you for my next video. Bye!